Hey guys, it is Jacob here. In this video I'd like to check my Bing build that I played in the preseason and check if it, it will be still playable in season 4. Short, an short answer, it will be playable. Longer answer, let's check how the patch notes actually affected the build. I will be doing the review in the TLI builder available on maxroll.gg this is how the build looks right now or at least the final version of the build it uses imperial might as i've shown you in the progression videos you are it is not required to have this armor but there is a slight change into the imperial might in the patch notes and another a bit larger change that affects the build is that we will have four aura slots or four passive slots but we will only be able to use four passive skills basically so in this current build or the last season build i've been using one two three four five six passive skills so we will need to drop to four <coughs> And to achieve that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually. Okay. To achieve that, I would be dropping uh, electric conversion, charged flames, and summon thunder spirit. Because you, you want precise weapon amplification, because that gives you physical damage and attack speed while the summon thunder spirit only gives you attack speed so that's the trade off here we are getting some physical damage here as well additional physical damage then precise projectiles that's pretty straightforward that, that's simply additional damage <coughs> and then i'm keeping energy fortress more energy shield more survivability and acuteness imbue Acuteness imbue provides you with additional physical damage and a source of trauma as well. <coughs> so, another change would be the Imperial Might. Let's check how that is changed here. Imperial Might. They are pretty much only changing the <coughs> core defense mode into only armor and evasion. So you are losing a chunk of energy shield actually and they are lower lowering the row on the defense row by 10%. That's it. So the armor is still viable. We will, ha we will just have a little bit less energy shield. <coughs> Skill wise, you might think that there is a new support that would be usable in the build which is called uh, the Sentry Activation Medium, this one but the problem with Bing is that Bing's bombs cannot be supported but activation skills basically so this should this support should not work with Bing using uh, Einariars, because Einariar is projectile skill and projectiles, projectile skills used by bombs cannot be triggered or something like that. So simply the support sentry, sentry automation should not work. I would recommend you to try it. If it does not work, simply not, don't use it and keep everything as is. If it works, you can either swap it for Nova Shot or Elemental Impact. Okay. Or slower projectile. That's 40% additional damage, while this is 30% plus 10% penetration. This is some pro projectile damage and projectile speed. Probably the Nova Shot would be the, the adapt here for swapping. Also, if you don't have a multifaceted guard, you will want to swap multifaceted guard for the Nova shot here. So, yeah. 
Uh, another change that is coming. The the rest of the build is rare. It uses bow of endless dusk. Uh, bow of endless dusk is not in the patch now, so should not be affected. And next, the the other change that is coming, they are removing rhythm, but they are adding a multiple of other like activation skills. And what you will want to keep in the build is the force start with defense layers. So you will use one support for that. Uh, uh, I'm not sure which one though. Probably this. Yeah, you will want to use activation medium support energy shield with a high roll on this one. Like when energy shield is below like I think 80% would be nice to have. Attempt to trigger the supported skill. So whenever you get hit or your energy shield degens under the 80% mark, like 20% is manageable, but I would not risk it. If you would have some with that low uh, roll, then I would suggest to use the unique belt. Can I find it? Actually, somewhere. Uh, this. Uh, try to use the corrupted light hunter belt because the lower your energy shield, the higher the energy shield re regeneration speed. So this would be an option for more tankiness. But yeah, uh, I'm going through options, which is not necessary here. Uh, so that would be one support for first start and then you want to keep the curse so you want to choose some support that would be working with curses which would be if it works on bosses as well then activation medium elite because you don't really need the curse on normal monsters so activation medium elite would be probably the best option here if it also works on bosses. If it does not work on bosses as well, then the next best option would, in my opinion, be the activation medium per per perpetual motion, which attempts to trigger the skill as you are moving around, which you are moving around a lot with this build, so yeah. And that's pretty much it. We are pretty much losing auto defense because there's <clears throat> there's no like slot for it. And we are losing fixate because there's no slot for it either. <clears throat> okay. For the acuteness in view, you you want to keep the mark with it because the acuteness imbue actually triggers the mark, that's why you want to keep the combo. Anything else? I think that's it. There's no change in these as far as I know. So that should be the same. Yeah. So build still definitely still playable. Uh, if there are any changes in the talent trees, keep in mind that you are playing a sentry build, so you are going with the minion trees focused on the sentry boosting, so the lower part of the trees, if it still says the same. And in the last tree you are pretty much going for more crit <coughs> sealed mana here. If it will be still needed, if not, you can just keep it. Yeah. So in the last three you are going for more crit and damage, that's it. Okay, so that should be it for the bink. Will still be strong, will still be fast. Nothing really changes playstyle wise, you still have to cast your arrow and ARs since you cannot use the support sentry. Yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.